Welcome to beautiful Chicago, Illinois. It is still a little cold here, but the temperatures has definitely dropped somewhat compared to the last few days. Of course, Chicago has made a lot of headlines with electric vehicles and how they're all getting stranded. My name is Virg Batista, and this is Charging the Road. Now, I do want to apologize uh, for, the, uh, for the lack of style of the video. There's no music or anything like that. Um, I'm in the middle of moving at this at the time of this recording I'm in the middle of moving and so my main workstation is packed up I haven't able to unload it just yet and then of course I forgot my laptop too so everything as far as watching this video is all being edited on my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra so that's a good uh, shameless plug for Samsung there you go anyway so I wanted to quickly put together this video because there's been a lot of headlines coming out of Chicago with EVs mostly Tesla's the batteries are dying and so they're being left stranded and of course you have the media like Fox they're twisting words and everything it's making like oh you know evil like EVs are so bad or evil you should not get EVs and everything but of course we go deeper dive into it now just yesterday a very special guest Kyle Connor of Out of Spec Studios came by to Chicago he wanted to see firsthand exactly what was going on here in Chicago and so we did a video I was able to appear to his video and we talked about I showed him around Chicago as far as like the charging stations within a short amount of time that he had um, but um, we were able to uh, we were able to accomplish that but I want to put together my own quick video because um, I have I've actually put I've actually recorded some clips um, over the last few days when there was uh, when it was cold here and everything and I'm here to tell you right now to get to the bottom of everything the chaos um, Some of the chaos that I've started recording and everything now now Just to summarize what we talked about in the video in the out of specs uh, out of spec reviews video is Why is it really why is Chicago the center of the attention? Well, it's really just the, really two things one yes Tesla batteries has been dying down and it really all had to contribute to lack of education because the scene here in in Chicago when it comes to electrification when it comes to EVs is still relatively brand new the infrastructure is still lacking very severely compared to Colorado and even Southern California and so many people who are buying the EVs they're just straight up buying EVs and not knowing exactly how electric vehicles work which resulted to Tesla batteries dying and then of course you have clogged charging stations now we also dived into, into exactly why a lot of these charging stations are getting clogged it's not, it's not just because like the EV batteries are getting so cold you're losing about 40% of the range and so you have to charge your vehicle twice as much but also here in Chicago there's been a flux a big flux of uh, rented Uber drivers that are renting uh, Chevrolet Bolts, as we all know, Chevrolet Bolts max charging rate is about 50 kilowatts, um, 50 kilowatt hour. And then, of course, you have Teslas, uh, rent, uh, rented Uber Teslas. At least they got Tesla, so they're able to charge theirs faster. But many of them just don't have the education to know, like, hey, listen, when you're doing DC fast charging, you have to stop at 80%. And I cannot tell you how many times I've seen Chevrolet Bolt owners that they're charging beginning above 50% state of charge to 100% state of charge, completely opposite exactly what we're trying to teach everybody here on YouTube that if you're going to charge, if you could do a DC fast charging with your electric vehicle, start anywhere between 10 to 25 percent, then unplug either between 80 to 90 percent, because after that, you're just wasting so much time, especially for a ride share driver. Time is money. The bottom dollar, the bottom dollar is what matters the most. Anyways, I'm going to slip in a couple clips here and then give you my conclusion exactly what's really going on here in Chicago. All right, so as I'm driving around, I wanted to check out maybe a site or two to see how things are going first. I want to check out the Tesla supercharging station. This is a 250 kilowatt area. As our line in the queue right now, there's like two Tesla stations uh, waiting, to, waiting to charge right now. I'm assuming that's not working or maybe they don't see that it's actually working or there's like a stall open, but I am not quite sure. As it's at the time of the recording right now, it's about one degree Fahrenheit, but with the wind chills, it drops down to about 12 to 13, even 17 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what's going right now. There's not a lot of fast supercharging stations around Chicago. There's more of the city uh, charges where it's like limited to 72 kilowatts. This is a 250 version three site right now. But we're gonna go out and check out the next site, the site that is by my parents' house for Electrify America. That site's kind of notorious because of um, the Chevrolet bolts just like take, clogging up the station. But yeah, we have a full session here of all the Tesla supercharging stations. We have two waiting in the queue. 
so we got a little bit of fiasco here. So we got a whole bunch of cars here, but just a quick note before this guy leaves. This guy decided to cut. He cut in front of people, right? He cut like how many like, how many cars he cut? At least two. At least two. Yeah, that's very ungrateful. But yeah, we got a little bit of fiasco here. So you're gonna pull you're gonna pull in this way? Okay, cool. So guys, we got a little bit of a mess here right now. So I'm gonna tell you what's going on before uh I talk to everybody here. So this I believe this car has been here because it had to be towed in. This car, same thing, had to be towed in. And this guy's been waiting here for the last, uh, I want to say the last four or five hours. And then, obviously, he got lucky and pulled in and everything. So, and then, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but there's, there's like these uh, tire tracks here. So, supposedly what happened is earlier today, um, you know, because these cars were getting towed in from, from like overnight, they had to squeeze themselves over to this spot here just so they can charge up, right? And from my understanding, these stations are limited as well. So this is quite, disaster, quite a bit of a disaster zone here. So at 85% state of charge, you're only getting a 15 kilowatts and this is for the Kia Nero. I'm not sure if that's actually true for the for figures and everything. And so here, these guys have been here since 3% state of charge, only getting at 41, but if this is a Chevrolet Bolt, so that should be okay. I know this station right here has been pretty good, but I know these three other stations have been really, really bad. So. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is good content, sorry guys. So he's initiating, so this guy just was able to pull in because like again here, this car had to be pulled in. I know where, we don't know where the owner is at, but they had to squeeze themselves in. This is kind of a mess, guys. Let me see if I can pull out real quick. Yeah, this is, this is quite nuts. Yeah, like earlier today, I guess it was a little bit of a fight, you know, who were trying to try to get into the spot and everything. And these vehicles had to be towed in, uh, just like what we saw in the news with the Teslas. So here's no different. This is obviously a very popular station because it's right off the I-55. And obviously it's right by a Target. So there you go. And actually this is the station that's closest to my parents' house. Like no, so before in the past, we used this station all the time. But, oh man, guys, seriously, if you have a home charger, just, just stick with it, if you can. All right, so if you guys are curious if, the, if this problem is continuing, you are absolutely correct. It is 1.47 in the morning. And we have, so that EVGO station is actually down. So I don't know what's going on here. I'm sure he's charging at that station. And I think, I don't know what's going on with this Nissan Leaf. I think I saw the same Nissan Leaf that was checked in with the Plugshare app. So I don't know what's going on. And then that car has just been sitting there too. So I, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that maybe that bolt must have been told into as well. But it is 1.49 in the morning. It is still cold here in Chicago IO. It's about three degrees Fahrenheit, last I checked, but it still feels pretty, really frigid here. Um, I got a charge here. This is a 100 kilowatt machine, but you know what, anything, anything at this point right now, I'll take it. So the fiasco in Chicago continues. We have a full charging station here, here at the Chicago Fashion Mall outlet. And you may think this is just full, and of course you have an F-150 Lightning. I don't know why he's parked there. Uh, but then you also have this huge line, which I've never seen before. You have the Audi e-tron, and then you have a Bolt, 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 Bolt. More than likely, all these Bolts are gonna be Uber Bolts, and a lot of them are charging to 100%. Let me show you real quick. So, that sticker means is that you have access to the airport as an Uber driver, and check this out. He's trying to charge to 100%. I really hate it when you do that, but then you have that one 72%, totally okay. And see, actually that driver is actually taking a nap there. He doesn't even care. Uh, and then, look at this, guys. Look at this. I'm just observing this right now. This Nero, also with Uber, has been here for 130 minutes. 130 minutes. And charging only at 14 kilowatts. I think this entire station has been derated probably because of the cold here. Let's see. This bolt is only getting 23 kilowatts. And uh, yeah, guys, this is this is really bad news here. I think I'm about to stick to uh, home charging for now and just limit my usage. 
here. Again, we have Hyundai Kona charging here for 55 minutes, 23 kilowatts at 80%. Another Nero, 17 kilowatts. That's not good, guys. That's not good. And my good guess is I think this uh, Tesla has died and must have gotten must have gotten towed here. Well, luckily for me, I'm at 80% state of charge and check this out, another bolt's coming in. So, like I said guys, it's a triple whammy. The frigid cold is causing EVs, like my EV, to charge twice as often. And then you have EA being EA. You know, all, the entire station has been derated, more than likely because of the cold. And then you have people who are driving in Chevrolet bolts. There's so many of them here in Chicago. Quite frankly, I dislike it a lot and many of them are actually uber drivers so there you go guys that's another example here so in conclusion guys that's exactly what we've been going through here in chicago is really the lack of education um the lack of ev infrastructure and then i'm gonna kind of look around here real quick for you guys i'm in the southwest side of the city close to the outskirts close to the edge of the city of chicago so a lot of these homes here they call them ranch style homes and of course they all have uh parking garages and everything but um I wish I had a clip to show you guys in the north side of the city where there's just all apartment buildings. But one thing I've noticed though, that a lot of the EV drivers I've spoken to, they live in the south side of the city or the west side of the city. They severely lack charging infrastructure and my good guess is why they're having been building the infrastructure there is A, um, uh, not enough demand, but I think the demand is growing. And B, um, those areas are some of the most dangerous areas in Chicago. I don't think anybody wants to invest in an EV infrastructure even just level two in those areas because they can they tend to get very dangerous and I even heard stories that you know in some of the bad areas people are getting carjacked and everything so there's also dangers of that but anyways in conclusion guys that's exactly what's been going on here in Chicago lack of education lack of EV infrastructure and then just uh just uh just a slew of rice share driver just taking up the dc fast charging and ruining the experience for everybody including myself look listen if you are a rice share driver driving for uber or lyft and you're renting a chevrolet bolt by all means return them if you want to drive an electric vehicle for rice share get yourself a used one you can get a used audi e-tron for thirty-five thousand dollars. that charges way faster than a chevrolet bolt Guaranteed. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more EV content here in, in Charging the Road. Until then, guys, have a good one and stay smashing.